What's going on everybody? King of Dragons 5000 here coming at you with another figure review. Today we'll be having a look at the Mattel WWE Elite Collection Series 49 Becky Lynch. Here we do have Becky in the packaging. You can see she does come with her jacket and a hat. On the side we have a lovely image of Becky Lynch right here. Same image here. And we get a beautiful image of her with all her steampunk gear on. Becky Lynch 56 from Dublin, Ireland. Ring attire is from January 2016. Her signature move is the disarm her. And career highlights is the first ever SmackDown Women's Champion. Other figures of this line include Apollo Crews, Enzo Amore, Big, Big Cass, Brutus the Barber Beefcake, and Randy Orton. Old school Randy Orton, I might add. So really glad I found this girl in stores. What I'm going to do now is take a little break, get her open up, and then we'll go on to the rest of her review. So sit tight, everyone. And so here we have Becky Lynch posing out of the packaging. Before we get on to Becky Lynch, let's actually show off the display stand. Again, I've said this numerous times, like the display, hate the color, the cardboard cutout. We get rid of that because it's useless. Love this, love this display stand, hate the cardboard cutout. But anyway, here we do have Becky Lynch re ready to go and... There's a few things I like about this figure and a few things I don't like and it's mainly laziness due to Mattel being Mattel. I'll get more into that in a little bit but so a few things that the figure does nice is that we actually get her entrance gear which includes this really really awesome hat. You can see the her goggles are nicely painted you can see there's some gold and some gears here just to reinforce the steampunk trend here. She does have a feather there. I don't know, I feel like the hat has a lot of detail that is lost at a distance. Like you can't really tell that all this detail is there until you really look at it closely. But it does fit on her head, head pretty nicely and if you really wanted to you can like jam it all the way down but if you're like me, you're going to have it like that, so she does come with that. Her next accessory is her jacket. Now, I love and hate this jacket. I hate it because it's so bulky. It makes her look really bloated, which the figure isn't bloated. It's just the way the jacket is. Something I do like about it is that it's made of a really, really soft, rubbery plastic, so you really don't have to struggle getting it off. Although her hair doesn't seem to be made of that same soft material. Again, I can like crumple this up in one hand and it just springs back. So really do like the fact that they use a really soft material for her jacket. Otherwise, it would have been a pain to get off and on. But the jacket has some nice detailing in it. You can see all the seams right here. Some buckles there. Some more buckles here. The buttons are nicely painted. And then they also sculpted a hood on, which I really do like. Kind of wish that it also had that slit in the back, because it sculpted so it has a slit in the back, so... I don't know why they just opted out not to give us a slit in the back. But those are her accessories, which I think really do highlight the figure now. The figure itself, I have issues with, and... I'm going to point that out right now. Let's just move this Becky Lynch figure right here for a moment. And here we have the Elite Becky Lynch with the basic Becky Lynch. And if you're wondering what my problem is with it, they're the exact same figure. Everything about them, with the exception of the head and this added piece, is the same. Mattel did not sculpt anything new for Becky Lynch's torso. I guess you can say this is a new piece, but it's not an added piece onto, or it's just a rubber appliance that's applied over. They are using the exact same body. Now, I know a lot of people won't have issue with that because, you know, her attire basically looks like this. But the one problem I do have with it is in her chest. I don't know if you can see that. But the BL for Becky Lynch is still on there that we saw for her basic figure. 
that is laziness right there. They could have retooled this body, which I know they did, because she doesn't have her little cape right here, and it should go pegged inside this figure. They did retool the torso, so there's no reason why they couldn't have retooled retool her front to get rid of the BL. It's just really confusing why we get some figures that they take really really good care of and then when they get to the women wrestlers it's like sometimes they don't even try i'm glad that we did get an entrance attire for becky lynch but i don't know i really did want to see an updated torso so yeah that's a little bit unfortunate but let's actually move on to more of the figures detail now something i've noticed about this figure is it does look like Becky Lynch, but not from a head-on angle. From head-on, it's obvious that her jaw is too wide, but if you turn her to the side, it looks really, really a lot like Becky Lynch, so... I don't know, it just has these angles that you have to catch it right, otherwise it doesn't look like Becky Lynch. Like, from this side, the you can't really notice the jawline, but from a dead-on look, yeah, it kind of is bothersome. But, again, glad that they, it actually looks like Becky Lynch this time, unlike the previous figure. We do get her arm bands, which are painted, which I really do like that. Again, this is a new appliance that they put over the torso. It doesn't look like it's removable, but it has a lot of details in it, which I guess, I don't know, I, I don't want to say Mattel is 100% lazy all the time, but this shows what they can do. This shows what they should do. You can still see how everything is sculpted on Becky here. So, I don't know. With an elite figure, you'd expect them to be able to sculpt and work a little more. We go on to her shorts, which I really do like the fact that all these gears are really clean. They're painted well. We get a clean trim. We get on to her... I don't want to call them kick pads. Her... Stockings, that's not right. Her leg gear, I guess we'll call it. And it's a little bit sloppy on the line, which unfortunately there's not much you can do about that. It does look really like con a controlled mess. It's not too messy, but I still like it. And then her gold shoes. So overall, really do like this figure. Some things I don't, some things I do. You can see she does kind of have a head bobble going on. Which, I can fix that. I just need to pop her head off and then see if it's the ball joint or the actual peg itself. But moving on to her articulation, she does have a ball joint head. She can look down and up slightly. She can tilt her head left and right. She can spin left and right. Arms on a ball joint go out to about that far. Do a full 360. Swivel at the bicep. Single joint at the elbow. That elbow was really stiff. But we do get single joint in the elbow, swivel at the wrist. We do get a mid-torso crunch, which goes forward about that far. Back about that far. Does tilt side to side slightly. Then we do get a waist swivel. Legs go forward and back. Out to about that far. Swivel above, right here underneath her shorts. She does have a single joint in the knee. Swivel at the boots. Swivel at the foot, and then a hinge ankle. So all the articulation you would expect from a female figure from Mattel. So what we're going to do now is take a little break, get her pose for my final thoughts. Then we'll wrap up this review. So sit tight, everyone. So here we have Becky Lynch pose for my final thoughts. Overall, I really do like this figure. It does kind of show how Mattel can be good, and at the same time, lazy. They could have updated her torso because I know it is retooled. There used to be pegs back here, which they're not here anymore. So I don't know why they just didn't retool the front. I'm pretty sure it's not that costly, seeing as how this one's an elite versus the basic figure. I don't know. I, I get confused on what Mattel goes for a lot of times. But overall, I really do like this figure. I do like the jacket, although I think for Becky Lynch... Soft goods would have worked better. That's just me. I mean, it is nice that it's soft, but soft goods would have worked better because, you know, Becky Lynch 
actually poses in her jacket. She's just not standing there. But if you can find this figure, I really do recommend you pick her up. I found her at Toys R Us, and at the time I'm making this video, Toys R Us had a sale on all their WWE figures, so I just had to pick her up. For $15, you really, I really couldn't go wrong. But if you can find her, definitely pick her up, especially if you're a Becky Lynch fan or you're just a fan of the WWE line. With that being said, guys, I'm King of Dragons 5000 saying don't forget to like this video, leave a comment, subscribe to my channel, go ahead and check out all my other action figure reviews. All my WWE figures are also up, so go ahead and check those out. And while you're at it, if there's a figure you would like to see me review, go ahead and let me know down in the comments, and I'll do my best to bring it to you guys if it fits in my collection. Until next time, I'll see you later. Take care, everyone. My dreams are not Let's go.